There's been a change in a major RV dealership uh, in the country that I think is significant. Lazy Days RV has got 24 dealerships around the country as of February. I know it's bigger than that now because they've made a couple of acquisitions here in the Knoxville, Tennessee area. But they have uh, unilaterally across their dealerships decided not to allow independent third-party RV inspectors, an inspector that you would hire to check out your RV before you buy it. Now that's significant. What are they hiding? What are they worried about? I've been inspecting RVs for about six years now. And over that six year period, I do about 25 a year. It's a part-time gig for me. And I've only found two RVs that I don't find anything wrong with. And one of them actually was from uh, Lazy Days. It was a brand new one. They knew me up there and they knew I was coming. Another one was just recently this year, it was a DRV, a high-end uh, fifth wheel. And even the uh, dealership was surprised at the quality that it came from the factory. Now these RVs are both new and used, and a lot of the new ones are represented as ready to go. They've had the PDI, that's the pre-delivery inspection from the dealership. Now that includes uh, putting uh, propane in it, putting water in it, checking everything out, finishing anything that didn't get finished at the factory, and fixing anything that's wrong. Now, Lazy Days would have you take your RV after their PDI and go out and use it for a while, make a list of things that's wrong, and bring it back. That puts the inconvenience on you, as opposed to having a third-party RV inspector come in, get everything fixed, have it ready to go for your camping so that you can enjoy your RV. So I wonder, what's behind it? I have a theory, and I think it's because they might want you to go find everything that's wrong with it after the PDI, bring it back to them, and then they charge back the factory. It's perhaps that uh, if an RV inspector like myself comes in and finds things wrong after their PDI, that they have to do that internally, and perhaps that's a cost that they'd rather not have uh, on their books. They'd rather put the onus on you. So you might want to consider that. Will the dealership let you bring in your own inspector? If not, why not?